Just get a trim, or did you meet the moonies? Wrong on both counts, Jim. See many martoonies. <laughs> Play on words here. I keep pitching them, you keep missing them. Here's what I wrote, Here's what I wrote for the beleaguered National Health Service to help them combat the eternal menace of sexually transmitted infections. STIs, they're what STDs used to be. VD, give it a name. No, it's not an STI, it's VD, you filthy bastard. Try keeping it in your trousers for once. There's a good way of avoiding it. But it couldn't be VD anymore, could it? It's too accusatory with those hard, judgmental consonants. VD. And that sharp, Damoclean V hanging over the proceedings, rendering enjoyable sex virtually impossible. So obviously that problem had to be addressed, so now it's STI, you could catch it from a laboratory, so you could open a window and just breathe in. It's a fucking dreadful thing, it's a scourge, a menace in society, but VD, but now you know we changed the title now. STI. V. Now that now this country leads the world by a sizzling 72% sexually transmitted diseases because we softened up the approach. <laughs> so I say to the liberaliser, happy now. <laughs> To illustrate the position, this following tableau. Bing bong, bing bong. Oh, hello, Audrey. You're late home from work. Yes, I'm sorry, Mum. I had to go to the doctors. The doctors? Anything wrong? Yes, Mum, I've got an STI. Oh, go to bed. I'll warm your nighty up. Would you like a glass of Bob Rill? Oh, your dad's coming in. Stan, Stan, Stanley, Stan, Stanley, Stanley. She's got an STI. My little princess got an STI. It's a bleeding tragedy. I'll give her a bunch of grapes and a bottle of bleeding loot to say. Ah, ah, little baby. <laughs> Alternatively. Alternatively. Bing bong, bing bong. Oh, hello, Audrey. You're late home from work. Yes, Mum, I've been to the doctor's. Anything wrong? Yes, Mum, I've got VD. VD, move to another country. I have no children, you filthy, sift-dripping, home-wrecking little bitch, you. <laughs> See how it could have got ugly. <laughs> so, STI it is. You can't fight the system. So this is to help them in their relentless quest against the social medicine, STIs. This one's called, it used to be called actually, Lydia Lydia. Yes, I know. As any Dean Friedman fan will tell you, you know who you are. That title has already been used. I found out the hard way when I was about to do this number on the George Bernard Shaw Theatre in London Town, and the following message came from the side of the stage. Psst, Johnny, change the title. Why? He's in the audience. Who? The Ragamuffin Romeo himself. Dean Friedman here? What the? Huh? Yes, he's a very litigious person. He can afford a better lawyer than you, so if you don't want to live out the rest of your life in lots of penury, you'll change the title immediately. So thinking on my feet, I come up with this new title. Now it's called Lydia, Girl with an Itch. <laughs> so it's a miles better title. It's got that kind of mysterious aspect. It's moral panic. It's the better title all round, proving once again that uh, necessity is the mother of invention. Huh? Not Frank Zappa, as some of you had previously assumed. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen, Lydia, girl with an itch. Lydia, Lydia, get rid of your chlamydia, only an idiot would ever consider you. <laughs>